Hello, my sexy besties. I hope your day is going well. This is going to be a timeless read. Next 48 hours, what do you need to know? We got four decks. You know the jam. Take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, putting good energy into the cards. God energy source, your ancestors and mine, because we are energetically aligned. What does my bestie need to know for the next 48 hours, me included? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Well, first and foremost, I am here to bring you the tea. Call me Kermit the Frog, motherfucker. Ribbit, ribbit. We're spilling it all. Um, I think definitely someone you cut off could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King or Queen of Wands, or Swords by Felicia. You could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. You cut this person out, and now the universe is hitting you back because you wanted this person more than anything. They're making it come back, my love. Love, affection, I'm worthy of love, standing in your power. Yeah, they're nostalgic. Upside down, cards are hard. But nostalgia, so definitely missing you, looking at our old photos, videos. They probably have been stalking your social media and seeing, you know, what you're up to, what's the vibe, what's the energy, because they've been crying over you. They've been missing you, queen or queen of cups, Gemini, or once again, Gemini. Maybe it's just Gemini's today. But Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Definitely in my feelings, they're thinking about you. They want a relationship. They want to come forward. They want to express their feelings. Um, this is all about leveling that up because they went through a spiritual ascension, besties. If you love this, thank hallelujah. If you're at this point, put the praise hand signs in the comments below. Subscribe and be a bestie because I'm picking three people September 1st for free 30-minute Zoom readings. And you might want to know what your person's up to because they've been healing lovely and they really have been getting out of this matrix phoenix rising they you got one of two situations coming in or both so twin reunion yes that's about union coming together the rescuer i rec i rescued myself for you so this is either a twin flame connection that has gone ahead and leveled up and really you know acknowledge the journey are willing to be self-aware take accountability or it is as long as it's not toxic because we don't stand for that shit on this channel or it is a soulmate coming in after you decide not to be with your twin flame. You decide you want more of a soul tie connection. Once again, the union card, let's celebrate at the bottom of the deck. Parties, birthdays, weddings turn up just because As you were meant to shine. Unique is better. Shine bright even if it hurts their eyes. You're very enlightened. You're very intuitive. Tapped into your crown chakra and, you know, connected a source. There's definitely some sort of situation here. You probably have been focused on your pentacles, earth sign energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, hustler, boss, babe. Focus on that promotion, that bag, that side business. And this has made this person be in regret. They wish that they would have taken this chance with you. They're missing you. And time's a ticking because splitting the deck, the final outcome. Yeah, they really do go ahead and see you for the fact that, you know, you were, everyone comes in your life as a blessing or lesson. And they realize you were a blessing and they were treating you like a lesson. They were half-assing you, not giving equal give and take. And as I'm recording this, we're going to move into our third and final retrograde of the year, which is in Libra, balancing of the scales, justice card and tarot, which is card number 11, 11, 11. You know how it be. I say that at three, uh, three minutes and 33 seconds because yeah, they're coming forward. They're going to tell you how they feel because they know that you are also channeling in other soulmates, whether or not they feel this in the 3D. So on earth, you know, in the physical realm, or they're having dreams about it, nightmares about it, something along those lines. And they want the stability. They want this foundation. They want the white picket fence, the family, the dogs, the cats, the lizards, the snakes. And this is coming in divine timing. So divine intervention, you could be seeing a bunch of sevens, but really they are getting this information and deciding when they're going to come forward. And they've lollygagged a little too long and universe is like bonk you snooze you lose it's time to get your shit together get your poop in a group or get the fuck out because we're bringing this person other besties and other lovers other options and if you're ready for other options let me know in the comments below i'm welcoming in that new new bring me some options your girl is ready and i hope you're on this journey with me too and make sure you are subscribed always free readings always good vibes but Let's get cussed out together. This is the Rebel Oracle deck. It likes to cuss as much as I do. So let's see what you need to know for the next 48 hours. Okay, well, you equals tight ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks get, don't get laid. Stop trying to control the who, what, when, or why. Surrender to divine. 
surrender to the universe, God, whoever you believe in, because winning, you got a good shit going. Don't ruin that shit. Exactly. If you're wondering, are you on the right path? Are you focused on yourself? The answer is yes. It says, get the fuck out of your, or <laughs> oops, I was going to say the card that says, get the fuck out of your head, which we don't even have right now, but get the fuck out of your head. You could be anxiety, you know, overthinking, things like that. But it says, move the fuck outside, move your ass, your body is pissed at you. So, you know, make sure you're taking care of your vessel, your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit. That is a better way to get aligned, bring in your manifestations faster, hit the gym, bestie. And, uh, you know, treat yourself. It's not always about work, 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 you know, step away from that crazy making diet for a hot second. Kale and sparugula taste like ass. Eat some yummy shit, bacon, chocolate, beer, get some. We love that. And then the three final cards we have here kind of tie back to the love life. So you're going to take care of yourself and really focus in on where you need to go ahead and go. But whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. Detox. So drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, throw some shit out. So whoever you need to release, focus that energy in on you. And that was prevalent because my friend Alex just tried to call and I didn't deny because, you know, we got to finish this reading. But you got money. Make it rain. So you're stepping into your power, really going forward, bringing in those pentacles. Stay focused on that because this person during Mercury retrograde, if you are seeing it, you know, before, after, or during Mercury retrograde in Libra is September 9th through, so 9-9 through 10-1, October 1st. But let's see what else you need to know. So balancing of karmic scales. What do we need to know for this next 48 hours? But your money is going to be looking good. So stay grinding, stay hopeful, and stay focused. But, oh yeah, at, at the bottom of the deck, I did not pull for this. Alex really threw me off by calling me. It's dark and you can't fucking see a thing. Get your head out of your ass pronto. Exactly. Stay in your lane. Know where you need to give your energy because you're giving too many fucks. Give zero. If you're concerned, if you're stalking this person on Snapchat, go ahead, release them and you do you stop trying to change people that shit never works and i told you we knew we were going to get this card get the fuck out of your head get in your heart it misses you lead with a space of empathy forgiveness and just take a step back you know lead with your divine feminine and stand in your power because yeah finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so you could be focused on that they could be overly focused on their business as well but moving forward, we have the honeymoon. So enjoy your time of bliss together as well for romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. If you've been putting in this energy time and time again, then you need to pull back. Don't go ahead and give this person what they want, what they desire, things like that. Because you have been ignoring these red flags. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And it could have been a period where it was codependency, imbalanced. Really, now you're asked to take a step back, flirt. Because once again, confirmation, they're calling in a soulmate. This could be multiple people. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. And we got this card sticking out very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it now comes to you. Exactly. I looked at the clock. It was 8, 18. So 8s are all about a one, or abundance and 1s are all about new beginnings. So yes, we love that. Good energy, good vibes. The soulmate energy coming in is going to be fabulous. I'm excited for it. But let's jump to the Hidden Truth Oracle and think about a person. And this will be messages if you are in separation, what this person wishes they could tell you. If you aren't in separation, this is what's on their mind that they haven't told you yet. So take a deep breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. What does the person on our person's mind need to go ahead and know, please, spirit? Okay, yeah. So this person has definitely felt very drawn to you. You inspire them. You are this person's muse. If they're really not coming forward right now, they have too much to lose, whether that's financials, career, stability, something along that lines, because they're in this energy of like, I can't do this. I don't want to know. So it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. But your intellect arouses them. So it's a deeper level connection. It isn't just a sexual attraction connection. Because this person feels super happy with you. You are their safe space. You are their home. You feel like home to this person. And this person wants you so badly. They've been watching your social media. They've been seeing you have this glow up. And they really are focused on this. Because they know that they broke your heart. And they are wondering how you feel. Because they've been focused on their recovery. Focused on their stability. Being self-aware. Forgiving themselves. But they don't want to let you go. And they dream 
a daydream about a life with you. So they see future, they see a potential, and they see life differently now. So I think they're gaining and deciding what's important in life, their morals, their values. But I think you're having other options come in. It just depends on what you want, the new or the old. It always reigns true, right, bestie? I'm going with the new. Let me know in the comments below. Are you going with the old, the new? What are the vibes? Go ahead, subscribe, become a bestie if you're not subscribed. Turn on those notifications. We are almost halfway to a thousand besties. I appreciate you so much. It really does help your girl out. And guess what? We're gonna go ahead and select three people September 1st that are gonna go ahead and get free 30 minute readings via Zoom with me. And you know, it'll be good times. Check out the TikTok if you aren't subscribed. We are always doing free readings, free lives basically every every day or if not every other day over there at least five times a week so get free readings until next time besties i love you you're a bad bitch a bad king put on that crown know your worth i love you so much and you know take care of yourself bye bestie